This is one massive piece of brass square that I got quite a while ago now, probably about 15 years ago. Let's take a chunk off this. So I've got that to I've got that to size now to thickness, um, and there's just a little gap there at the top. But actually, this needs to be uh, cut down. So rather than taking it taking it down uh, full surface, I'm just going to take that top off so it is perfectly flat. There's a block now to size. So those two uh, sides, this is bang on the width that it needs to be. But I didn't have any material, so I'm just gonna, uh, again, sand those sides down to get a nice finish on there. I don't know how I've messed that up so bad. So I should have taken two millimeters off this side and then eight millimeters off this side. And somehow I've managed to do two adjacent sides, uh, two sides at 90 degrees. I, I have no idea how I've done that. Ah, oh, there's one for the scrap bin. Thankfully, it's a nice square piece of, uh, or rectangular piece of brass, so I'm sure it'll get used sometime, but there's an hour gone. So that's where we're up to so far. We've got the back piece. We've got this uh, piece, it's gonna be the U-shaped piece that fits on there, and then the block at the front, which actually accepts the uh, locating screws, or adjusting screws, I should say. So I think we're gonna move on now to this U-piece block and start milling that out. Okay, so they're the three pieces that we've made. And there's the U-shaped channel, uh, the bottom section for that, and then the, the back piece. And hopefully, we're gonna now take a piece of the uh, three millimeter brass and uh, cut the top piece. I do know on this picture, um, I think he's using slightly thicker brass on the top, uh, which unfortunately, I've not got anything uh, that thick. So I think we're gonna go for this three mil uh, like the frames for now and I know that's been used on Steve's design as well so let's go ahead with that
got all the parts, so time to start to try and assemble them. <laughs> that works already. <laughs> so I've just shifted the position because it's only on that one single bat bolt. That one's good. There you go. Okay, so there it is mounted to the frames. I've gone for the slot rather than the full slot all the way to the front which i think it keeps needs a bit of a deburr actually but i just think it keeps a bit more rigidity uh, but maybe maybe it doesn't make a difference i've seen pictures where it's slotted and pictures where it's slotted all the way to the end um thumb screws look good there's not much adjustment but probably enough i mean presumably you only need to adjust this a few millimeters and there is a few millimeters in each direction and I said it in the last video and I'll say it again, I'm still trying to find that piece in brass. I've just been to a metal supplier's today, um, a Mac Models over in Macclesfield and normally get all my stuff from there if I'm sure and even they didn't have a piece that, that wide, they had that half inch thickness but not that wide. So I'll keep looking if anybody knows where I can get a small piece from because they could get it in for me of course but they had to buy three foot of it and I'm not paying for three foot. Alright, anyway, on to the pendulum now in my next video. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you next time.